What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future uh, readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs. Caps to decide you, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free, free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. Love you guys. I'm going to turn the light on in the foyer real quick. I do apologize. Okay, so sorry. Okay, so I received your channel message, so I'm going to deliver it. I hope everybody's doing well. Let me get comfortable real quick. Hope everybody's doing well. I, my, um, I'll talk while I'm getting comfortable. My shelf um, fell the other day. I had to, um, you know, replace it back up there and all that. It knocked everything down, my poor bamboo tree and all my lights and everything, but we got it set back up, so. Okay. Okay, so um I was okay, so I got a channel and I got a short vision. So I'm going to deliver it, okay? Now the short vision was basically someone telling someone. Um it was a vehicle tailing another vehicle, and the vehicle they were tailing was going into a casino, a very nice casino which you know casinos are very large and very nice um it was going to a casino that was the vision one vehicle to another vehicle nice vehicles by the way going into a casino uh into a casino parking lot um the the vision um the, the vision was perspective of the behind the second vehicle second vehicle to the tail end the first vehicle going pulling in that was it then it cut off that's all i got so then the channel message i got was um um a masculine energy that has stolen a feminine energy's um money i heard is under very heavy investigation i heard he is a huge gambler um, he has huge gambling addictions and soon through many series of chain events, he's about to be caught. That's what I heard. So to me, the channel message, the uh, clear audience with clairvoyant goes together. Now, I cannot tell you which casino it is because it was, um, it was kind of close up into the casino parking lot, but it was a very, I mean, all the casinos are usually very nice. Um, I've been to casinos before, um, and I like to go to the casinos every now and then when I have the money and when it's feasible financially to do so, portioning out correct amounts to go. But whoever this person is, they're addicted. I heard clear audiently they're, addi they're addicted. They are addicted. Uh, not just to casinos. Not just to casinos. Okay, that's confirmation. Not to just casinos. So... Not just to casinos. Apparently, they're addicted to casinos. Um, I'll tell you that from the vision. Um, um, but they, um, it's not just casinos, apparently. So it might be bingo halls. It might be um, scratch-offs. It might be um, bingo halls, scratch-offs, um, whatever the crap it is. But it is something other than, uh, it might be bookie energy. might be bookie energy. Um it whatever it is they're heavily addicted to gambling heavily and casinos are involved i'll tell you that um according to the vision now i don't know if the vision's already occurred or it's about to occur i don't know but i heard through many series of chain events this person has stolen somebody's money it's masculine energy and i will tell you from what i saw from the vision the person tailing the masculine energy in the um the person that they were following with the gambling addictions, I'm presuming, they were masculine energy, from what I could see. It was kind of far far back. I couldn't see details on the the uh, person, um, Taylor, or the front. Definitely not the front, but it was more perspective behind the second vehicle. I couldn't really see details on that person, but from what I could tell, it was a masculine energy tailing him. So masculine energy, private eye, or fed, or 
police officer or whoever, a detective, whoever. But it looked like a masculine energy tailing the other masculine energy, I'll tell you that. For some, it could be you. I mean, I'm not sure why I'm getting this, but I am getting this. So I'm putting it out. Um, I just ate my crab boil. I'm just over here chilling. I was supposed to have a weekend with my kids. Y'all know that. So, but yet I get this. So I don't know. Everything happens for a reason. I'll probably go walking here in a minute. But my point is, is um, I got this for a reason. But it's a masculine energy that um, stole a femme energy's money. Um, but he has heavy gambling addictions, heavy addictions, not just casinos. Um, through many series of chain events, he's about to get caught. But I think the masculine energy that's been tailing his ass or is about to tail his ass, I feel for some you could be the masculine energy tailing his ass. Only you know your situation and story, not anybody else. And only you, masculine thief, that's a huge gambling addict that stole Fem Energy's money, only you know your story, not anybody else. But this person, I'm telling you right now, this person is about to get caught, man. They are about to get caught through many series of chain events. You plug it in, how it resonates. This person is addicted to gambling, heavily addicted to gambling, heavily addicted to attention, to attention. He loves the fast life and he has no problem stealing money to make his self better, to make his life better. But through many series of chain of events, his life is about to come crashing down. Huge wake up call. Oh my God. Okay, so he has heavy gambling addictions. I heard he has no, uh, he had no problem apparently stealing from this feminine energy to pad his own um, addictive lifestyle, which is gambling um, and attention, apparently. So I'm thinking attention from people. Like, I think he likes to be in the limelight, likes to be out, but don't we all? I love to be out and going and going and going. I love to be out and going and going and going when I have the money to do it. But I'm not going to put myself in debt and lose my house and lose my life, you know. And I'm definitely not going to risk it all by stealing from somebody else. And whoever this person is, they feel, I don't know if they feel entitled to steal from that feminine energy. I'm not sure why they felt justified to steal from her. But because you shouldn't ever steal from anybody. But I heard he loves attention. He uh, likes the limelight, probably attention from women and men or women and men. And he loves the fast lane lifestyle, but, and apparently had no qualms stealing from feminine energy, but um, I heard his life's about to start crashing down soon. Hey, y'all, can you hold on one second? I think I left the water on. Hold on one second. I apologize. Oh, that was a bird chirping. It sounded like water dripping from a faucet. Okay, yeah. So um you plug it in how it resonates, man. I, I don't I, I don't know why this is so significant, but apparently it is. It is very significant, very. Very significant, very. It is very significant, very. Okay, so I think one of you guys might be tailing him or is about to tail him. Um, is what I think. Um, I don't know. Um I'm just delivering the spiritual messages from the spiritual universe, okay? Um, several shocking series of chain events are about to happen to him. He felt justified in stealing this money, but he was not justified at all. He's highly manipulative, very highly manipulative, but he's about to get caught. Okay, I heard he felt very justified in stealing this money, but... Um, I heard he's very highly manipulative, so he's very highly emotionally manipulative to people. But I heard through many series of chain events, he's about to get caught. I'll pull at least one card. Holy crap, man. I think one of you guys is in the process of catching him, or you're about to be in the process. I think that'd be such a fun job. 
to be like a private eye or detective or something like that. And I'm so serious. That'd be so fun. I would presume. I don't know. I've never done that. But it sounds like it would be fun. Spirit messages you have to focus. So he's highly emotionally manipulative, meaning he uses people's, he, <clears throat> he's very good with his words. He's very good with the way he is with people, but he uses emotions um, to bend the will in his favor, if that makes sense. That's exactly what I feel. Spirit messages you have to focus. Spirit messages here. Oh my God Almighty. Wow. I heard through many series of chain events he's about to get caught. We have freedom reverse and the psychic eye card that popped out. I heard this is very significant. So I think one of you guys is telling him. And I think one of you guys' intuition is spiking or is I think I think this is for the detective or the private eye or whoever's telling him. Whoever, I think, I highly feel your masculine energy from what I could tell from the vision. I highly feel your masculine energy. Um, maybe this is private eye here. Maybe you're a private eye. I didn't hear you were. But we have the eye card. This is my psychic eye card. But in this instance, you might be a private eye. I'm feeling. I feel you might be a private eye. And maybe your intuition is spiked or is about to spike. This is highly intuitive energy. Psychic eye energy. It could be private eye energy. Uh, private eyes they're watching you just saying just saying holy crap a hotel encounter is about to become very significant photos and video is about to become very significant and a meeting and a meeting Public meeting. Okay. Photos, video, a hotel encounter, and a public encounter meeting is about to become very significant. I think this could be private eye in this aspect. Private eye. Maybe you're highly intuitive private eye. Maybe you're psychic. Maybe you have um, psychic medium abilities or you have the players. Um, or you're just highly intuitive and you're really onto this This. Asshole thief. Manipulative asshole thief. I heard a hotel encounter is about to become very significant. So I think hotel and him, his hotel encounter is what I'm presuming. This guy you're tailing. I think this is for the private eye. I think. But you, or detective or fed or whoever you are. But I'm feeling private eye possibly. Or just a highly intuitive whoever is tailing this person. But Somehow photos are about to become significant. Video is about to become significant. I think you're about to snap photos or videos or you already have of this person. Hotel encounter, whether it's already occurred or it's about to occur. I think it's this person you're tailing. The hotel encounter with him. Hardy loves attention. <clears throat> so it might probably be a woman or man. If he prefers woman or women or men. And um, 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 a public encounter. So I think he's about to meet somebody in public. It could be a cafe, a coffee shop, park, anywhere public, but some kind of public encounter. I think you're going to snap photos and videos of the public encounter. I think you're going to snap photos and videos of the hotel encounter. And it probably will be a romantic, I'm presuming a romantic encounter, possibly. I didn't hear it was. Freedom reversed. You're about to catch his ass. Is what I'm feeling. I hear, I heard through many series of time events, his life is about to fall apart. I think you're about to catch him, which is going to make his life fall apart. Freedom reversed, because your ass is on to him. Watchful eye energy. I, this also has to be watchful eye energy. I feel with the um, photos and the videos, whether you've already snapped them or you're about to. Um, whoever you are, masculine energy. I'm feeling masculine energy telling him. Unless you're a fan that has really short hair. I'm just saying. I mean, it looked almost bald, but it was kind of far away. I couldn't really tell. Just saying, just saying. All right. I love you guys. I hope this helped. And namaste.